I made this amazing Halloween wreath and sold it for $125. And you know what? It cost me just $15 plus time plus creativity and lots of greed. Now, I was getting no greed. So let's not waste time and start working on the wreath. First thing first, we're gonna make our ring. Using gauge 14 galvanized steel wire from the Home Depot, we need exactly 4 feet. The 100 feet cost $10, which is not bad. And from experience, I would never use anything rather than this yellow snipper to cut this wire. This is a cheap one from the dollar store, but I'm sure you will never find it. It's from the 2019 era. Next, bring your 14 baseballs. You don't have to use real ones if you can't find or afford buying them. I got all these used 14 balls for free from a friend. This is how you insert the wire into the bowl. Using a drill and 1164 inch by 6 inch extra lens drill bit. Gently drill into the middle of the bowl until the drill bit passes through. Congratulations! Now you have a bowl with a hole. Divide your bowls into two, which is, yeah, you guessed it right, seven and seven. Take the first half and run your wire through them. Try to make them tight. Tight, 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 yeah! This is the bat we're gonna use. I got it for $4 off Timo. The shopping app that I don't personally like unless they're gonna sponsor me. I drilled two holes on each end of the bat. It doesn't have to be exact, but try to make it in the same spots as mine. Now let's start working on the metal piece. I found this decorative skull on Joanne. It was on sale for just $3.99. Then I started with blackening the teeth using chalk paint. Makes sense that they don't have time to brush their teeth. And this is the technique I used to do this step. Just copy what you see. Next, with a fine brush dip in red paint of your choice, go over the teeth until they look like this. Wipe any excess. Choose random spots and apply light coats of the red paint to them. Just be creative with it, or copy me. And now with the secret that distinguishes the noob from the professional. Spray tap water on the paint until the paint drips. Do not wash it. Just spray. Next, bring a napkin or a paper towel and cut it into small pieces. Apply some hot glue to the top of the skull and attach the napkin pieces to it. Then, you know what? Watch and copy. I cut a baseball in two halves and attached one to the head. This step is optional. You can ignore it if you would like to. Apply some glue to the napkin to blend it with the skull. Now, using the same technique we used to paint the teeth, I painted the head. Then I went back to the shop and using a step drill, I made two holes on each side of the skull. And passed the bat through the hole. And this is exactly how it looks before I attached it to the wreath. Isn't that scary? We're gonna pass the bat and the rest of the baseballs through the wire. Now let's decorate the wreath with the ribbon. This step is also optional. You can use any ribbon you have or any color you would like to use or don't use any at all. I got white burlap, red, blue, and black ribbon. You can get them from the dollar store or from Walmart. I cut all the ribbon into 9 inches. We're gonna cut the burlap ribbon end making a fish tail. And cut the ends of the other colors and seal them with a lighter so it won't frail. Now that we have all our ribbon cut and ready, we're gonna tie them between the bowl. I just keep spacing them and adding more ribbon. I want to place the red, blue, and black ribbon on the top. So after you tie, just fluff it up. I love this color combo. Once we're done with this step, we're gonna go ahead and close the wire. Just like this. Using the pliers, I twisted this end of the wire. Then I'm gonna pass the other end through this one and using my yellow snapper, I'll cut a piece of the wire and then I'll twist it using the pliers again, making a knot. Then add the last set of ribbons. Now the cheapest hanger we can use for our wreath is using twine. We have seven baseballs on each side. So on the middle one, I'm going to tie the twine on each side and then I'm going to make a knot on the top and I'm going to use this knot to make another knot and this is going to be our hanger.
Now let's make a bow for this beautiful wreath. I got another piece of wired burlap and I cut the ends into a fishtail. Using twine, I tied the middle and then I'm gonna add more of red, blue and black ribbon. And this time we're also gonna add white ribbon to the bow. Ladies and gentlemen, our beautiful spooky Halloween wreath is stunning. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I have one more idea for you that I made unsold last year. Check this out.